Hello everybody, my name is Eric, and today we're going to be talking about lossless scaling. Now this is one of the rare cases with the malware where I could genuinely believe that I would have fallen for this. Now of course, I, I don't really use utilities like this, and uh, this VM, not even sponsored, but this VM is protected by threat locker, so it wouldn't work anyways, but failing those things... This is a very clever scam. The only red flag is, and of course, I do not encourage piracy, although we will be testing this uh, program for educational purposes only, uh, but this is not advertised as a pirated program, but the fact that there is a paid version with no obvious difference could be a red flag. But see, I just type the name of it, nothing else, into Google, and then we end up on a website. This website, correct domain, everything about this looks official. The tutorial video it links to is a legitimate one, although that video does give you a massive warning. The only place you should get lossless scaling is Steam. Nowhere else. It is not free. Now here they do put out a warning. This is not the official website. Okay, because it looked like the official website. But the download button is up here above the fold. So if you're unlucky, you've already just downloaded this and run it as administrator before you've even seen this. Redefine how you play. Uh, and we got the logo. News and updates, and this is just directly copied to make this look like the official website. In fact, is there an official website? I couldn't find it. Maybe without the hyphen? Uh, that doesn't look official. Couple of mistakes. I mean, the developer shouldn't really be letting uh, someone get your exact, dom exact match domain. Why Google is ranking this, I couldn't guess. I'm assuming they've taken extensive steps with Black Hat SEO to buy backlinks and poison the search index. At first, when I saw this in the Discord, I thought, okay, maybe maybe we're talking about a Google ad. No, no, this isn't an ad. This is on the search results. So let's click through and let's see what our experience be like. And they make us wait for an ad. Uh, or at least I think that's what's happening. I do actually have, uh, to demonstrate this wasn't an ad, I do have uBlock on this browser, but it doesn't seem to matter. So let's let's download what is supposedly... The real one. Now here they are acknowledging that this isn't a uh, legitimate source, but the domain could easily fool someone. Now there, there is some immediate weirdness, like the fact that we've got an ISO and a password here. I don't know if that's going to be for the first, for the zip, because I've never seen, yeah it is, because I've never seen a passworded ISO before, so I didn't think that was possible. Okay. Now we can safely mount the ISO. Now here it does make it more obvious what's going on. Of course, once again, just another reminder, do not encourage piracy, do not use piracy. Uh, but there is actually no piracy being committed here because this is just a rat. So now let's check what this batch file contains. I'm just trying to edit it. I'm not going to execute it. Oh, oh no. Oh no, that's not what we wanted. Not a curiosity, I'm just going to check because we it's immediately obvious this is malware. Let's check this one as well. This one probably just runs the second malicious stage. Nope, it's got the same malicious stage. Okay, pretty lame malware. This is not complicated obfuscation. I don't need the the emulator that I wrote for this. Now let's also just on virus total see what the exe is. In fact, it's unseen makes me think this is probably not. Uh, yeah, no, this one's not legit either. This is an interesting scheme that puts all of these variables together. PowerShell no profile, Windows state. It'd be more impressive if they were at least out of order. This is the lamest batch file <laughs> obfuscator I've ever seen. Bypass command. Now, what's interesting is we've actually got a PowerShell. We're going to run the file, which is already in the ISO, hidden under the language pack. That's kind of that's kind of a clever hiding spot. Win underscore x dot ps one. Oh, look at you. Uh, okay, good work, good work, uh, thread locker. I almost I I almost made a very stupid mistake. Okay, so the real stuff. One of them is in the enus folder, and the other is in uh, the UK, which is Ukraine. Now, I don't know if that's some sort of reference or not. It's just kind of interesting for the second uh, part of the payload. They would choose uh, Ukraine. Let's see what's in Ukraine. Now, all of these visual basic scripts or uh, VBS, whatever it is, very obviously malicious. So I'm just going to try this on a sandbox quickly just to see what happens. Okay, and we've pretty much immediately 
uh, run the first one. Okay, so it does actually ship something that looks like the real thing. But it came with some bonus value-added software. Okay. Oh, yikes. Now we've got a horde of unwanted scheduled tasks. And we've got a full-blown rat deployed on the system. And piles of scripts. Not one of these uh, scripts is doing anything legitimate. Oh, we just got more. We now have a but. Okay, we've got obfuscated batch files. This is possibly the most incredible, <laughs> the most kitchen sink malware I have ever seen. They are just unloading every piece of malware they could think of. Now we can just trace through this. The main reason I ran this in the sandbox rather than my own VM is because with these scripts, it's generally easier to uh, pulse these out dynamically and try and get an idea of what might be going on here. You can actually look in the VM at our uh, task. So we've got a bunch of these so-called administrator things. Let's look at what they actually do. Hey, that's not loader.vbs. I could almost give these guys credit for how transparent the names of their files are. It's not the best obfuscation job I've ever seen, I m must admit. Yeah, so it launches that PowerShell, which then runs report.ps1. Then we get another. Uh, this is some sort of attempt at anti-sandboxing that clearly failed. And it's too late. If you're going to try and detect a malware analysis environment, you've got you to catch it really quickly. This is some sort of info stealer. And this thing is just pervasive. The only good thing is these are fairly common and known payloads, but it's already disabled your antivirus, so it doesn't hugely matter. I'm going to try and get a list of all the things. So the key places that it creates unwanted files, obviously in the lossless scaling, that's all uh, problematic, and the IOBit unlocker, and then it creates and creates another task to run... Uh, a few PowerShell scripts. Now this PowerShell script is also dropped in this public folder. And this is just encrypted data. Now let's send some of these off to VirusTotal. This one is unseen, so I should probably actually upload it. No, I want to send that to VirusTotal. So this is legitimate. So this is actually just a raw file. This is quite a common, uh, as an alternative to actually packing the malware, they will just, they will simply use a script to unpack a raw file instead. I'm just amazed at the quantity of stuff we have here. So we create a batch file, we run that. Wow. Well, that's just out of curiosity. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Let's see what Bing. Does Bing rank the malicious site? Maybe uh, this could also be a malicious site, but no. So there's some sort of very direct uh, targeting of Google, but it seems like there's a consistent problem with malware coming up in Google. It is one thing for malware to come up with a pirated version targeting pirates. It's another thing for the second result in Google to be a malicious version that does not clearly even dictate that it is not the official website. If I went to losslessscaling.com, I would think I was going to the official site. Yep, not an ad. First indexed by Google in June of 2024. Possible this domain was acquired. Let's just see what let's see what Web Archive says about this. Because I'm just kind of in shock. No, this fake site has been up for this long. And there is another video from a month ago Achtung, warning about it. Webseite lossless-scaling.com ist eine fake site und verbreitet malware. Wer dort lossless scaling herunterlädt, bekommt ein manipuliertes Setup. Die Malware deaktiviert Windows Security, entfernt Antivirus-Programme und tarnt sich als Systemprozess. Betroffene sollten Malware-Bytes und ADW-Cleaner nutzen, alle Windows-Sicherheitsausschlüsse entfernen und UAC zurücksetzen. Ladet Lossless Scaling nur von Steam herunter. Achtung, die Welt... Yes. That basically, I, I don't speak any German, but that seemed like only download from Steam, which is correct. So no, the good news is nobody on YouTube is linking to this fake site, and this site was never legit, but somehow it's been up for almost a year, and is the first result on Google, or second, but like, you might think that's the official website. 
that's going to be all for me for now. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Do not download this from anywhere except Steam. I'm going to put the link, the official link, the only link you should use, in the description. Don't use any other links. That's all for me for now. Bye.